Hey guys, it's Hath. I am back again and today I am doing my look for this month's You Look Marvelous, which is a Marvel inspired makeup collaboration video series that we are doing with the Geeks and Beauties. So each month we pick a Marvel character based on certain letters of the alphabet. So for February it was C and D. Um, there are a lot of characters. Uh, we did not limit it to ones that were in movies. We have looked at the whole of the Marvel Universe. So today I have created a look based on Cat's Eye or Sharon Smith. She has uh, the most amazing um, pink and black suit. She's a member of the Hellions, which all wear a pink and black suit. Um, and she has purple hair and she transforms into a cat creature thing. Um, I'm pretty sure she's a bad guy, but I'm not 100% sure. Not that I really care. Um, I just liked her look. So I will insert a picture. Um, yeah, so if you want to see how I got my cat's eye inspired look, then keep on watching. So I'm going to have to record a voiceover for this. I forgot to take my microphone off mute. In fact, I've done it several times today. Very annoying. Um, I have already done my eyebrows and I have put primer on my eyes and set it with uh, powder. Um, I'm going to attempt to do a cut crease based on the outfit worn by Cat's Eye. And here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a um, black pencil. This happens to be the Longcom pencil. I'm going to draw a line that goes across my eye like that. Um, it's to give me a guideline for the cut crease about like where I want it to be. There are different ways of doing cut creases. Um, for this particular look I figured that this was one of the easier ways of actually doing it. So I'm just going to draw that line on both eyelids. Then I'm going to take a small brush and I'm just going to blend that up slightly um, so it's not like just a black line um, on both sides. Um, and this is basically going to do the make the base for the top part and then I'll put black eyeshadow over the top of that in just a minute. And then I'm going to take this palette um, and I'm going to use the second to darkest color. Um, I'm going to put that basically along where the line is and blend it out. Um, it's going to be sort of like my transition color. Um, Then I'm going to take the black next to it, the darker colour, and I'm going to put that closer to that line um, and not blend it up quite as high just to darken that up a little bit more. Basically we're just layering to make it darker and darker along the bottom line of that top part.
I'm going to take a much more pigmented black which is corrupt from Makeup Geek and put that right along that line and not blend it up quite as much and this will create quite a dark bottom edge to the black section um, this is very pigmented and pretty much goes everywhere Then I'm going to take some concealer and a small brush and run it underneath that line on the mobile lid um, to clean up that particular area. I do a bit of clean up with a makeup wipe as well um, and I clean off my brush regularly so that the very pigmented black doesn't end up smearing all over my eyelids because that is what it wants to do um, and this is part of the reason why I don't have base makeup on is because I know I'm going to have to do some cleanup <music> Now I'm going to take that super bright pink there on a flat shader brush and I'm going to pack it all over that lid space and out on the outside edge to create the cut crease. Um, it's not really blended in any kind of way, it's just run right up along that line. Um, I did have to layer it a few times to get the color I want. It's a fairly cheap shadow palette and the shadows are very powdery and take a bit to work with but I end up getting a quite solid pink eyelid. So now I'm going to clean up, do my base makeup and then I will be back. Okay so I've done my base makeup, I've done blush and highlighter. Word to the wise, uh, don't put a bright pink blush next to a super pigmented black eyeshadow because I ended up with black on my face and then I had to even it up on the other side. It was a whole thing. So I'm going to take um, my mellow black gel eyeliner and an angled brush and I am going to attempt to do eyeliner and not mess everything up. Uh, 
um, basically following the bottom part of the line because if you have a look at um, I probably would have showed a picture by now <laughs> of cat's eye but if you look at the costume on the pink side there is a black trim so that is kind of what I'm doing maybe not as successfully as I would like to but Something just fell over and scared me. <laughs> I was concentrating. I'm not going to mess with that too much because I will undoubtedly make it horrendous if I do that. And of course I managed to get somewhere I didn't want to. So I'm going to tight line with um, the black pencil that I used right at the very beginning. And then I'm going to go under the eye as well. And then I'm going to take a little bit of um, the black in this palette, just to blend that out a little, smoke it out a little, and just connect up with that eyeliner and then in the very corner where they meet I am going to take a very small brush, 
I'm attempting to clean. And I'm going to go into this lightest pink here. And I'm going to use that as the inner corner highlight. Just to, if you take a look between the two eyes, you can just see it just brightens the eye just a little bit. Because especially when you're using really dark shadows, your eyes can just look a little uh, dead. And just by putting a light colour here, it just wakes the eyes back up a bit. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. And then I'm going to put on a couple of coats of black mascara. I am using my The Balm Watch Your Type. And while that is the first coat setting, I'm just going to go back into that pink and just run a little bit along here to highlight the brow bone. Another cute of Matt Gary. I really should do lashes, but I'm not going to. Okay, so that is the eye look done. Very intense. Um, and because I have such hooded eyes, you can barely see the pink when my eyes are open. But uh, yeah, so that is that. All right, on to the lips. On the lips, I am going to do the color of her hair, which is pale purple. So I'm actually just lining the lips with a clear lip pencil then I am going to put on a white lipstick Uh, this is uh, Wickedly White from Maybelline. It's supposed to be a matte white. Does not feel anything like a matte at the moment. Um, and then I'm going to take Sway from uh, NYX. Soft Matte Suede. And mix 
them together on the loop. And the main reason I do that is because her hair colour is lavender. It's not bright purple. It's literally a very pale purple. So I'm going for the dead lip look. <laughs> no idea. And just because I can't resist a little bit of sparkle, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, mirrored plum, which is one of my favorite lip glosses and just put a bit of that on so this is my look that is based on uh, cat's eye from Marvel for you look marvellous which is a collaboration with the geeks and beauties the other people doing it will be linked down below so make sure you go and check them out and if you're coming from one of them hi welcome to my channel uh, if you want to be involved with the geeks and beauties you can click the link for geeks and beauties down below as well and that is it for this video if you want to subscribe it click the bell uh, the button down there and then click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup look type of videos and leave me a comment down below I will like your comment and I will answer any questions you ask me and I'll see you in my next video